everybody. Welcome to the last edition of our trip to Mexico in our whirlwind tour across the world. Um, obviously, it's called whirlwind tour. Um, today, we are going to do some enchilada fried rice. Uh, on yesterday, I did uh, some rice that I needed for my enchiladas, and I made extra because everybody knows they've heard me say it a hundred times cook once, eat twice or three times. And so we're gonna do enchilada fried rice, we're gonna do pulled chicken tacos, and I'm also going to do an horchata drink um, that I previously made yesterday. It's got to chill for eight to 12 hours, and I, um, I'd forgotten that part of it when I made it yesterday, and I it hadn't been chilled enough, so we're gonna do that tonight. So we are going to get started. I'm just going to turn my pot on. Um, and so with enchilada fried rice, when I did the enchiladas yesterday, I kept about half a cup of the enchilada sauce away because uh, I needed it for today. And so we're going to do that. I'm going to, I chopped um, about half of an onion and I'm just going to chop the other half using a really nice Chef Pro a knife and a lot, I frequently will get asked how do I get my peppers and my onions especially onions to be all uniformly cut and I don't know if you're going to be able to see up there but you want to cut it lengthwise like this so that you have the end sticking out so don't cut it this way so you want this so you want to be able to uh, you know peel the skin off but leave this end and then about halfway, you just want to just slice through, but not all the way across. And then again, cutting through, but not all the way out. You just want to get, because you, when you're looking at the onion, you can actually see the ribs. You can see the lines. So just following those lines, just go all the way down. And then you turn it, and then you go this way. However big you want your onions. And then you end up having all your onions all pretty much the same size. Right. So I'm just gonna get these onions in here. Now I'm using our wok. I've just got about a teaspoon of oil. It is a coated wok. Our woks have been held up to um, because of the shortages, uh, the different ingredients and stuff, and they've been stuck on a ship trying to get here. And uh, so they are hopefully in in the next couple of weeks. But hopefully, fingers crossed, they're finally going to be here. So I've also got uh, one chopped pepper. So you can use any color. I just happen to have yellow, so that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get this to um, just fry up, cook for a few minutes, just to soften them. I don't want them totally cooked because you want some crunch, you want some texture into your fried rice. Oh, uh, Keith, I have no sound. Keith? Yeah. I have no sound. Hang on. I can't see it tight. Oh, they're saying there's no sound. Well, I'll probably turn the sound up. Yeah, most. Well. Yeah, well, it's on. It's working. Okay. Can you hear me now?
can you just type in there? Can you hear me? Where? What do you want me to type? Right underneath. Yeah, right there. It says write a comment. Where? On top of the red. It says write a comment. Say something. Can you guys hear me? Jan, you commented that you couldn't hear me. Are you able to hear me now? So I have you logged in. I'm just going to keep going and hopefully somebody can reply that they can hear me or not hear me still and then we'll go from there. All right, so um, I'm just going to let the peppers and onions cook for about five to six minutes. All right, so what we're going to do while we're waiting for that. I'm just going to, yesterday I did the enchil uh, the pulled chicken in my slow cooker, and um, so I just shredded it yesterday, or took it off the bones, and so now I'm just going to take some and then chop them up in smaller pieces, because I'm going to want to heat this up in the microwave just for a few minutes. So I just want just little pieces. I'm not having, otherwise a great big piece of chicken is going to take up the whole taco. So I'm just going to use our rectangular steamer. rice into this. And then half a cup of my enchilada sauce from yesterday. of diced tomatoes. So this is a full can, so I'm only going to need half. Then you just want to stir it all up. And then you're going to let it simmer for another five or so minutes, just so that everything is heated up. Now, if you didn't already have leftover rice, what you're going to want to do is put your dry rice in your frying pan. And I'll have the instructions on after the class, the actual recipe. You're going to want to put the dry rice in there with your seasonings and just kind of let it brown. It lets all of the nuttiness out of the rice. And um, uh, and then you would add your water and stuff to cook your, your vegetables. All right, so I talk about this cookie sheet or baking pan all the time or cutting board is I'm just going to flip it over to use the other side. 
I'm just going to check on this. So before I start with the drink, I just want to talk to you a quick second about our um, Mexican meal kit. And this year, starting in Jan this season, uh, in January, they changed the way our meal kit. Before it was just food products, and now you get food products and cookware slash utensils. And uh, <clears throat> the Mexican one, because of course we've been doing Mexico all week, it comes with to get the whole the whole kit. It comes with our big steamer, our big multi-purpose steamer. It comes with our two juicer for limes and lemons, small oranges as well. You can do mandarin oranges in here. It comes with three packs of our enchilada sauce. And it comes with a jar of our fajita seasoning that we used, whoops, going this way, that we had yesterday. Our poco picante salsa that we had yesterday, as well as our guacamole that we had yesterday. Now, if you didn't want to get the whole kit and just get um, the food products, you would get everything except the juicer and the steamer. I'm just gonna put these up here out of the way. And as well, to have your own cooking class for this month, the hostess special actually is our steamer, the multi-purpose one, and you get our tray so that it'll, and we talked about this yesterday, it allows you to cook different levels in there. So you can put meat on the bottom, vegetables on top or vice versa. You can flip it over and have two types of vegetables on top, but you also get a package of our general town, probably one of my, okay, my second favorite of our meal packs. And you also, and this is brand new just for this month, our chicken fried rice. So that is the hostess special. So I'm just going to put this up here. But as well is you get this, flip it over. I have to put it in a, a cover thing, otherwise the pages get dirty. A digital guide. And in here you have all different kinds of recipes. For example, your guacamole, it's, I mean, we all know what to use guacamole seasoning, right? But you can use it in black bean soup. You can use it in a veggie frittata. You can use it in green linguine. Use it to make chili with. You can use it to make a layered dip, um, enchilada eggs, which is super good, uh, pulled pork. Um, uh, with a, a kick to it, uh, fajitas, you use fajitas, you could do spice chickpeas, just drain a can, uh, drain and rinse a can of um, uh, chickpeas, dry them, put them on a cookie sheet with some fajita seasoning, a little bit of oil, and then just put it in the oven to roast, and you have that as a snack instead of salty popcorn, it's really, really, really good that stirred. Um, you can do it on fish tacos, on burgers, uh, Tex-Mex scrambled eggs, uh, which are really good, and um, uh, salsa. You can do chicken salad wraps, uh, salsa sauce that you pour over chicken and fish, and all of those come with the recipes in your digital guide. So that is just a really, really good all right, good thing to get. All right, so while I'm waiting for that to finish, I'm going to do the the, horse, the orchata. I had it in the fridge because it's dairy. So as you can see, it has separated. It's, well, it's not separated. It's layers. So what it is, is a cup and a half of um, rice, half a cup of almonds, and you put it in here in a teaspoon of cinnamon. You put it in there and you pulverize it. Uh, you could do it in a food processor as well. And you just pulverize it till it's like a powder. 
And then after that, you add two cups of cold water and half a cup of sugar and some vanilla. Pulse it again for another minute. Then you add another two cups of water and two cups of milk. If you your blender or whatever you're using isn't big enough to hold that much liquid, just do it up to that point and then add the water and the cold milk in a big jug. So I'm just going to do two seconds and I'm going to... I was just now what you want to do is that you're going to want to sift it through a fine sieve because it is rice and although you pulverized it you want to make sure that you're not going to get any of the little grit so just use a really fine strainer And you think you've pulverized it, you pulverized it, and then all of a sudden you put it through here and it, it stops going through. So you know that there's like little pieces of rice in it. It kind of like tastes like a liquid rice pudding, a really, really good rice pudding. Oh, I got it all over my cutting board. All right, now I'm just going to put this back in the fridge till later because I don't want to let milk out. Now what you want to do is I'm going to wipe my glass here. And you just want to sprinkle a little bit more of some taste it. And then if you find it still needs a little bit of a taste, just add a little bit of cinnamon on top. Now what you can do is just get a couple of ice cubes on it first. And it's just a really, really delicious drink. So good. I have one last stir here and then we can prep for everything. <laughs> All right, so that's almost done. I'm going to get my, just going to, it's cutting me up. <coughs> so I'm going to do the tacos. Now you can use a soft shell or you can use um, the hard shells. I like soft shells. My husband likes the hard shells, so we do both. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just going to grab. I took a breath when I swallowed. All right, so you, what you want to do is if you had some um, black beans, uh, you could put some black beans on here. Now, I did the guacamole yesterday. Remember I showed you that little trick on how to keep your avocados from turning brown? This is from yesterday or from Tuesday. As you can see, it's still perfectly green. So I'm just going to take a little bit of guacamole, or a lot of guacamole. And then I'm going to add some shredded cheese. The salsa, again, had salsa from um, Tuesday. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salsa to it. And then I'm going to add the chicken. Perfect. 
I love tacos. We have a granddaughter-in-law that absolutely, they both really love tacos. So every time I find a meme or an image that has something to do about how much you love tacos, I always send it to him. All right, now put this away. So I'm just going to turn this off. And there you go. Our last night, Mexican fried rice and our pulled chicken tacos. So make sure you keep an, and then of course our horchata. And I'll have all the recipes on after this. And don't forget starting next week to keep an eye out for the menu for Greece. So we're gonna head to Greece next week. And um, we were supposed to be going to Europe. Hang on. Um, this fall for our 40th anniversary and Greece was one of the countries we were going to go to. So this is as far as I'm going to be able to get to Greece this year. So anyways, if there anybody has any questions, please go ahead and ask me, look for recipes. And if you're looking for ideas or you're looking for different themes for different countries, for different meals, if you like Italian, if you like Japanese food or whatever, just ask me and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, take care everybody, good night.